So, uh, we're gonna keep going here. I think that this next man will make you laugh. I kind of, uh, I kind of respect him. Well, I'm not, I don't just kind of respect him. He's, he's, he's one of the, I would consider to be one of my best friends. I really would. He's, um, he's one of those guys that's just not quite sure what's going on all the time, but he knows what's going on all the time. We've been friends for years, and I was like, one day I was like, man, I'm so glad my divorce is final. God, it's been like a year and a half. And he looks at me and goes, dude, you got divorced, man? I talk to him every day. Every day. <laughs> That's what I love about him, though. He's, he's very accepting. He just kind of goes with the flow. He's the, uh, he's the guy you just love to love. I don't know of anybody that would ever hit him. Where did you come from, bro? My mother! He's from Canada! He came from Canada, folks. Give it up for the man in the right seat in the front row. Who the fuck are you, dude? I don't even know who I am. Yeah, I don't know. That was really weird. Like, you just appeared. Where did Megan go? Did you eat Megan? shirt on, which he obviously got at like a Goodwill or <laughs> These people don't know what value goes. Oh, look at our That explains your sweater. <laughs> All right. So here we go. We're going to give it up. If we can please listen up. Oh, by the way, buy it, buy it, buy a beer from the hippie over here. What? Yeah. He tried his hardest. He did. Um, uh, Corey, what is it? Hippie person? I don't know. What's your last name? <laughs> Alright, this man coming up is the one that you're going to love to love. His name is Mr. Johnny Bobblehead Emery. <laughs> Give it up. Don't, don't, 
don't you laugh, there's quite a few faces in here that do the same thing. Yes, you all know who you are. Delete the game! Please, delete the game, I hate the game. I don't even know what it is, it's like tic-tac-toe, Tetris, something with colors and fruit. And now they have farms. It's ridiculous. Oh, I had to throw out milk again. It's like once every two weeks. You buy it, you put it in your fridge, and then you just throw it away because I never use it. I uh, found out that almond milk lasts for a year. So now I throw away cereal because it's stale. Damn it. How much time we got left? Some attempt, can I make it? Breaking my heart. Uh, Tourette's is pretty awesome. It's like the childhood illness you always wanted. I don't know if any of you have gotten your mouth washed out with soap. I have for ass. You can get away with it. Fuck and shit. And a lot of other words that I won't say in front of all of you. But you never know, it's like, it's always the English language you see Tourette's in, you know? It's like, damn it, that shit! You never see, like, somebody just hopped over the border. Don't really say too much, you walk in, like, what are you doing here? They're like, I'm not a puto! Mostly because you don't understand any of that. But, uh, it'd be really cool to see someone with Tourette's and it was televised. And it'd be like, You guys have a good time. Good Fourth of July, Independence Day. Yeah. I worked. Wow, you worked. You worked. I worked with you. Worked with you. Didn't see you. Were you uh, enjoying some fireworks? Maybe a little boozy? Maybe a little fighting a little fire? Good job. Firefighter here. Thank you. Goodness. When you look up and you see a blue sky, it's because of this guy right here. Was actually in Boise, but he was still fighting the fires that caused that. Um, I do love, I do love the Fourth of July, Independence Day. It is a great holiday. I always work, but it's great because I ignore my full section and I leave for 30 minutes. And I come back, and all their drinks are empty, and there's credit cards on the table. And it's like, so we're all, we all want to go. Awesome. <laughs> I want to go too. <laughs> Pay your tab. Uh, had a bartender come up to me. He's like, I'm a smoker. I smoke cigarettes. They're delicious. They're the only thing that keeps me sane when I'm waiting tables for some of these people, the rest I work with. He has for two cigarettes. They got a uh, new married couple, just got married, would like to uh, smoke a cigarette. I'm like, that's super classy. Here's a candle light. <laughs> <laughs> then I got to thinking about it, it's like you got married on the 4th of July. It is uh, Independence Day, and you just signed everything away. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> oh, shit. Should have thought that one through, bro. <laughs> I've been at the resort for quite a while. Uh, they give you things called paid vacation, which is awesome. You can take a vacation, but you still get paid. I got, uh, actually it was a picture of an email that was texted to me. <laughs> By my manager. I'm not gonna say any names, I don't need to. I got eight days left, and it's awesome because uh, it's a serving to pay 335 an hour, and you multiply that by eight. 
you get a grand number of $26.80 per day. So my first day of paid vacation paid for my bar tab at the first bar that I went to. The rest of the night was paid by the rest of the week that I took off. <laughs> What's up, Canada? What's the uh, French fries and the, and the gravy? It's a poutine. I, I think we have a com you know, common interest. I like poutine. It doesn't involve gravy sometimes. Sometimes it does. I moved into a house, which is really cool. It's like an apartment. <laughs> except uh, your landlord is your roommate, which is awesome. There, When I got there, there was no grass. It was just like brown dirt and stuff. And there's, uh, they said uh, they're, they're gonna hydro seed. If you're not familiar with what hydro seeding is, it's like artificial insemination for your grass. And it worked. <laughs> It's great, it grows, it almost grows too much. I try to, uh, I try to tone it down, like I pee I everywhere it. on it. <laughs> Only when the sun goes down, Kim. I was told no roommate jokes, and so it actually uh, fueled the fire. I got a couple more. Uh, she really, really wanted us. Uh, uh, window shutters. Do you remember this, you remember this conversation? Yes. It, it's gonna keep going. <laughs> so, all right, <clears throat> what are you gonna do with window shutters? Well, you just, you know, you just screw them to the to the outside of the, the wall here, and they're on the you know on each side of the window. And like, what would they do? They'll just, they, they don't shut anything. You can't even grab them. You would have to unscrew them and then have a hinging system just to actually get them to close. It's like uh, I'm on the little house of prairie and uh, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't. Uh, she she tends to work uh, early in the morning and I tend to get off work late at night and drink all night. <laughs> We had these, uh, these little doors that, that uh, slam closed. So I tried to like slow it down like this. This is my move, actually. It's uh, it's like bowling. It's one, two, and and if you do it just right, it leaves this little screech. And like, Ding! the last time I did it, I just had the uncompelling urge to say, "Party on, Wayne," and "Party on, Garth." <laughs> Anybody get that? Does anybody remember Wayne's World? Yes! Alright, the Canadian does. I like it. I like it. Oh, so I have four modes of transportation because I need more than one. I have my motorcycle, which overheats. So it gets me from point A to point B, which is work. But once I get off work, I have to uh, consume alcohol to forget about work. That's where the Jeep comes in. And that's like the three to five beer range. After that, long board. But again, there's, there's only so many beers you can have and ride a long board. I've got many scars to prove it. <laughs> so then there's the walking method. <clears throat> and the walking method is awesome. Steven Wright said it best. Everywhere is walking distance if you have the time. The reason I have the four modes of transportation is because I learned the, the hard way. I was drinking at the Torch, it used to be, uh, that's what they called it, it was a rendezvous, they call it the... Club. Club. No, it's not that anymore, it's like the rock Rocker room. Or something. Rocker, bar. <laughs> Rocker bar, something like that. I was leaving there and I'm at the, uh, I'm at the stripper room where they got poles and stuff or whatever, so it's like right in the middle of the stage. Dropped the dollar, I was talking to a buddy of mine, and I realized I was too drunk to talk to him. <laughs> so I knew I, knew I knew I needed to go home. And uh, that was right. So I decided to leave. 
So I got my car, and I drove home. I got about to uh, City Hall, and that's where I took a stop. It was, at, it was actually uh, in City Hall. I threw the curb over a boulder into a tree. And I was like, here we are, we're home, put in park. Cars, a uh, guns drum is actually pretty awesome. I have it on video because I have friends in high places. <laughs> but I get out of the car and I'm, I'm tripping through the woods and I lose a flip flop and I try to get it back. And I'm like, what were you doing? You just uh, think it's a good place to park? And I was like, yeah, yeah, what are we gonna do? So I knew I was screwed, so I was fucking with the guy the whole time. I did, I did the, uh, the little walk in flip-flops, which was a complete fail. <laughs> I did the foot, a foot above, which was mostly like this, and I'm just talking to the guy, counting, looking right at him. <laughs> 30, 31, 32. <laughs> There's plenty of cabs, uh, if you get wasted, just get a cab. It's so much cheaper than a lawyer. Plus, plus, court is super early, and I... <laughs> a few of you sing at 7 in the morning, it's not pretty. No, no way, no bueno. Uh, I love seeing everybody that came to show up and uh, support. Thank you guys so much. We've got Trickster Brewery. There's a delicious IPA, if you don't mind, on tap right now. Uh, a lot of, a lot of coworkers, a lot of friends. Uh, Andy Coyle made it. He just made it back into the United States. He was, uh, he was hanging out in Europe for like two months with his uh, lovely lady right next to him, who is also back in the states. Good for both of you. Uh, might have missed is uh, the most amazing serving incident <laughs> that I think I've ever heard or seen. Uh, little Andy, are you guys familiar with uh, Dark Side at all? Our desserts are big ass gooeys. They're like, okay, I can relate to y'all. It's a schooner with ice cream in it. I, I hear 
excuses like, I'm pregnant, I need to go home. Well, that's very valid, but I got here first. I, I hear very weird, not things that I want to hear, like, uh, did you know that eating the placenta is really good for the body? There's a lot of vitamins in there. And it's like, I don't, I don't want to hear this. But I did hear about that when I was a kid. My dog did the same thing. All I gotta say is, bitches be crazy. I wish it was Irish. I'm not Irish. But I like to think I drink like I'm Irish. I want to have a little slogan that says, I'm not Irish but I really like to drink. <laughs> have, it, uh, have little koozies made, and you can put them on your beers, and like, boom. That's what I like. Because when you go to a bar, it is assumed that everybody in here is gonna drink a beverage. And at some point, everybody is gonna have to visit this area right over here. And if you do not have a koozie, you got a sweaty beer, and you got your hand on there, and you someone new, you're like, hi, my name is John. And they're just like, hi, John. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so I need a koozie. Yeah. So uh, people don't come to uh, assumptions about myself or anyone else. They, uh, they're on sale for $4 uh, each eventually. I'll get to them. <laughs> This is a topic I didn't really, I didn't know if I was going to talk about or was supposed to talk about or shouldn't talk about, but the resort got robbed. <laughs> and I worked there. I didn't do it. Um, but I'm kind of pissed because every night I throw a bunch of money into a bag and it goes into a drop. And then that drop goes into a little whatever for the whole weekend. And somebody took that. And I earned that. I earned that for the resort. And that just pisses me off because you got a lot of ones. <laughs> I'm going to check every strip club and I will find you. <laughs> Um, police be crazy too. Police be crazy. Did you guys hear uh, about Java? It's really unfortunate. It's kind of fucked up, actually. They called in a uh, child molester threat on a van of sorts and said that it was at the Java. Someone went in there, scoped it out, a uh, big dog barked at him, and they went bang. Kill this guy, kill this dog, and it's ridiculous. The guy said it was a pit bull. It ended up being a Labrador. The cop said, well, it was a, it was a black Labrador. seeing the crime, uh, the children are still at large, but still very small. 